One strange byproduct of the world going crazy in 2020 is the mail. So whereas I'd expect maybe one or two parcels every week or so, um, we get nothing for weeks on end. And then suddenly, uh, I don't know, something happens and everything arrives at once. So um, this is a mailbag. Again, another bit of a monster one. Uh, so let's go through it and see what's in there. I'm going to start with some um, packages that I've already opened. Uh, the first one is from um, LCSC, and these are Paduk um, PFS154 chips. They're only available in a SOP8 uh, package, not a DIP8. There are, I think there's a SOP14 and a SOP16 as well, but um, always surface mount. So there's 500 of them, and uh, I'm just awaiting the uh, SOP to DIP adapters so we can get them uh, sold up. Why I got 500, I don't know, go big or go home, I guess. Um, so that's quite a commitment to this particular chip. Having said that, uh, we're really only talking about, I don't know, $20 or something like that. So these are amazing chips for the price. So that's what that looks like. And in this one is uh, something which, again, I saw late one night and I thought that's a pretty good deal. And uh, it's just an auto-ranging um, uh, multimeter. So it had a pretty good reputation. And uh, I thought, well, you know, why not? Let's try it. So uh, you get quite a bit with the, uh, with the package. I think it was about $18 delivered, which is, which is pretty reasonable. And... Um, the fact that it's auto ranging and you're not always flicking things is, is pretty good. So I'll just plug in the leads that come with it. And let's see if we can't. Okay, that's auto. And here we've got a resistor sitting by just for the purpose. So we'll put that in. And auto ranging. And that's a 330 ohm resistor. So, yep, pretty good. And in terms of voltage, uh, let's have a look at this one. This should be around 1.5. Yeah, 1.483. So I just was looking for another meter that I didn't have to find the range of. So I'm just looking at a particular um, thing, you know, like maybe it's um, looking at the resistance or whatever. This has the bonus, of course, too, that... Um, we have uh, a temperature probe as well, in, in, uh, and, and that turned up with it as well, which I'll be using soon uh, with an oven that I bought. So, yeah, I mean, it's, you can look that one up yourself, UT123. I haven't played with it an awful lot uh, at this stage, so I've still got some things to learn about that. But um, for the price, uh, that's, that's pretty good. So let's start on the packages now. Um, hopefully, unlike last time, I've got some sharp scissors this time. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So we have some chips. All right, so what do we have? Let's get a little closer to those and see what we've got. All right, so first up, there's the SPX3819, a 3.3 volt, low dropout, low noise regulator. 500 milliamps could be useful. This looks like uh, a real fun chip. This is a monolithic buck, buck boost chip, so uh, 3 to 40 volts input and adjustable output to 1.5 amps. That's pretty impressive. And this is an MT3608. We've seen this before. This is uh, just replacement chips for the fried Paduk ones. This one comes from Australia, so I have no idea what it is. Let's have a look. Oh, LCSC. So it doesn't come from Australia. That's interesting. Well packaged. So, looks like we've got 
low dropout regulators. So 500 milliamp, SOT 89, and that's 3.3 volts. So, interesting. Let's have a look. Nice. All right. Get a little bit closer to that. And ah, this is what I've been waiting for. So while I've been burning through my processes, the FCM 32s for the Paduk project, as I um, try and solder up those programmers, this looks like replacement chips for that. So these are STM 32F072. C8T6, and look at that. It is a beautiful thing. Yep, so the regulators are SSP 7603P33PRs. Again, 1 point, uh, sorry, 3.3 volt and um, 500 milliamps. And this is the STM32. So yeah, looking forward to pressing those into service, hopefully successfully this time. Next package. Feels a bit weighty. Aha, uh -huh. and that's why. So yes, female headers. So I was running short of female headers, and then I ordered some, which were the wrong pitch. So yeah, pay attention to the pitch. But these are 40. Um, in a row and I think it's 2.54 so that's perfect for a breadboard uh, yeah so looking for more of those and um, that's great perfect so you can see here you can choose the number of pins that you want uh, I've gone with 40 pin and um, yeah they're very useful well <clears throat> let's see what's next it says solder tool and it does feel like a solder tool and i did order a solder tool so perhaps that's um going to be an active description let's have a look so far so good yes very good so uh this is for the uh errand top that I have, it's an Erentop 8586D plus. And um, not that I have a problem with the existing uh, lead, but I just thought just in case. So this is the existing one. And you can see that there's um, a bit of difference, but not too much. I mean, it's, it's actually in pretty good nick. Uh, it's been humming along pretty well for a year or so. And, um, and this is just a spare lead, just in case. Integrated circuits times six is not very helpful. Let's see. Right. So these are some adapters. Uh, so one of the, well, there's a couple of different things I've been wanting for this actually. One is that the uh, Paduk programmer, uh, I've had a lot of trouble with the SMD uh, USB connector. So I thought, well, maybe what I could do is actually break it out to something which is a little bit more durable, uh, even for instance, to one of these old uh, mini USBs as opposed to the micro USBs. The other thing is that I've got quite a few projects uh, which are running off batteries. For instance, uh, a clock project. And um, I just thought, well, let's convert a couple to uh, 5 volt power uh, just via some wall warts and, uh, and bring the power in like this. So, yeah, that's um, very handy to have these connectors. I've also made up a couple of these to give power to breadboards. So, and, uh, you know, I've soldered on uh, some capacitors for smoothing for that too. So, pretty handy for all sorts of different things, these ones. I think I'm going to be a little bit embarrassed to open this one. I think I know what this one is. I don't think it's got anything to do with electronics. And I think it's a very, very late night purchase from a very, very long time ago. Like, seriously, I think back in April. And it's now 
almost October. So that's how weird 2020 is. But let's have a look. I'm pretty sure. Yes. So these are bottle openers, which um, are in the shape of the Ace of Spades. I don't know why I ordered these. Um, they're not even magnetic. I mean, seriously. So maybe I had gift idea in mind. But the other strange thing about this is that uh, I don't ever open uh, a bottle. So I've got the Grolsch style bottles, which you flip open. And um, yeah, the rest of it is sort of well, mostly Stolvens. So anyway, perhaps these will make gifts, but for whom, I don't know. This one says, I see A4988, green five pieces. Seems reasonable. What have we got? We do indeed have some pieces. And look, they've thrown in some heat sinks as well. Interesting. How many heat sinks? One, two, three, four, five heat sinks and five ICs. Hmm. Let's have a quick look at those ones. So stepper motor drivers. So I've got a couple of projects in mind for uh, this one. And um, yeah, looking forward to getting those soldered up and working. This one says relays. Indeed, they are relays. So uh, supplying a, a signal on this side and then being able to control from 24 to 380 volts AC on the other side. So uh, DC control, let's say from an Arduino um, uh, to AC control. So pretty decent relays. And no specs there on current, but um, I'll have a little look at that a little bit closer and online and see what we can find. So the 25 gives it away. This is a 25 amp version and there's a smaller one and I think 10 amps and one at 40 amps. Now I'm pretty sure that these are from PCBWay so a big shout out to PCBWay for their support. Um, although they didn't, um, I bought these ones, which are the replacement for all the Paduk programmer ones, which I fried, the SMD version. This is a little more exciting and terrifying. This is the one which I designed myself based on this. So this is the SMD version. This is the old man version. This one, people can get to work uh, in terms of, you know, uh, they can actually solder them up and make them work, which I've been semi-successful at in that out of five that I've tried, one of them sort of works. Uh, so it does the PFS154 chips, but not the uh, PMC150s, for instance. This one may not work at all. Uh, and so a huge leap of faith um, for PCB way. Um, but of course, if it doesn't work, that's my design, not their production. But let's open this one first. Right. So yeah. This is the one which should work if I can solder it up right, um, which has been an issue. Although I do have a plan. I've just bought myself an oven, which I'm going to try as a reflow oven. So that's the, um, that's the plan. So there's PCB waste sticker, six years. Uh, no other swag in that, so that's good. And then... Here's the actual boards themselves. So we have seen these before. Right. So you're terrifying these are in terms of um, soldering them up. 0603 SMD parts. And um, yeah, well, the one that's always uh, is, uh, where I come unstuck uh, is that little USB uh, connector on the end. That's a mini USB, 
and uh, this is not too bad the stm32 chip not such a big problem uh, some of the other components though have been yeah horrifying so uh, I did buy another 10 of these to uh, to try this again so I am going to do the SMD version because I do know that should work uh, what I don't know is whether the old man version that I came up with the through hole version uh, is going to be any good so we will open that up and, um, and give that a try so amazingly amazingly um, PCB way sent this out DHL so it literally arrived I think within a week of me um, pressing the button on uh, on the manufacturing which is astonishingly good so well done to PCB way for their commitment and their speed very good job Fantastic, and another sticker, and ah, look at that. That looks like a PCB way board. Look at that. Trust me, I'm a PCB wire. Battery holder and pin. Well, I haven't seen that before. So a little switch. So we'll put a battery into that and uh, and see what that does. I'm going to do that right now. All right, so I've managed to uh, track down a button battery. So we'll throw that one in, positive up. And the moment of truth. Ah, now that is pretty. <laughs> That's very good. An unexpected surprise. Thank you, PCBY. That's fantastic. Let's leave that in the background just to annoy people. All right. Terrific. All right. Uh, and uh, oh, one of these lovely rulers, which, um, yeah, which I haven't seen one of these before. I've seen something very similar. So it just tells you all the different pitches and size. Oh, you're right on that. This awesome ruler belongs to uh, me. Uh, but yeah, it's got all sorts of um, indicators there for the different sizes, and over the um, over the other side as well. So zero six zero three on those old ones, uh, down here. Yeah, very small. But let's have a look at the new one. So this is the bit that's terrifying, uh, and and good. Let's hope. Ah. So I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out. But these are the ones that I designed. So based on the work done on EEV blog, but my own crack at that one, mainly because I just wanted to make one where we could use some through hole components. Uh, try and get some focus there. Here we go. All right, so what have we got? Well, um, we've still got our USB in and we've still got our uh, STM32 in the same size. But then you'll notice the rest of it pretty much is through hole. So you've got your through hole capacitors uh, around the side of the STM32. There's your crystal and then you've got through hole components pretty much all the way except for um, some of the uh, MOSFETs and regulators and so forth that um, that were in the original design and I didn't feel inclined to find you know versions of those because I'd already ordered basically the bits and pieces anyway so I'm going to solder this one up on another video and then cry uh, when it doesn't work and um, PCB way fantastic I love your support that's really terrific 
so I hope that your faith is justified. Time will tell. So that's the monster mailbag, thanks to 2020. Uh, if you're still here after all this time, congratulations. Uh, you should reward yourself with an Ace of Spades bottle opener. See you next time.